Good evening, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel that is Deb Snell's 48th World, where we get down with the business at the castle. At the castle. I told y'all don't play with the castle. I told y'all, I said, mm, I'm the only, I'm the commentator for the castle, but when they tell y'all to be silent, they that's what they mean, be silent, because you never know when they come out and start going through their playbook and trying to embarrass you in out in these streets. I tried to tell you, but y'all don't listen. Okay, subscribe to my channel, and let's get on into this story, okay? I told y'all, the castle do not play. I let y'all know they were deliberating. And that they were looking at their queens, their self-appointed queens that are out in these YouTube streets, on the social media, calling themselves royalty. Okay. Now, I told y'all I don't play with Mama D. I said she ain't about that life. Told y'all they brought in new consultants, Catherine Jackson, as well as Tina Turner. And when you bring some powerhouse women like that on top of a, 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 a what do you call it? A staff that is building up, that are, that have uh, reputations of the highest cal caliber there is out there. You don't mess with these women. You really don't. <laughs> you really don't. And I told y'all, Judge Judy was the driving force, telling them. And the queen, listen, she's not from the states, 52 states. She has her own queendom over there in England, okay? Now, I told y'all my source was Radio Online, Radar.com, RadarOnline.com. I told y'all that was the snitch, but we don't call them snitch. We call them sources. All right. They went out and put their own story out. Okay. And it hit Kenya Moore. And then Kenya Moore, she was just down there playing in Potomac. And we told her, what was she doing down there? We told her to come back. Don't say nothing else. She went out there still posting, carrying on, kicking, laughing throughout the streets, social media world streets. We said, uh-uh, you can do, the, the the queens have already said, you can post your daughter out there all day, every day. Just don't have her out there looking stupid and, and don't have yourself out there definitely not looking stupid. Okay, but they, they don't want to, they don't understand about the repercussions. You put something out there, there's definitely going to be a response back. And you might not like it. Look what they did, y'all. And I know it was I know it was them. I know it was the castle that set out and put this in motion, okay? They broke a story, and they gave it to the source to leak it out, okay? That Kenya Moore, husband, Mark Daly, is in debt, okay? He's in trouble. So now we can see why. All of it makes sense. Why can't you more want to come back? Why she was so restless about staying off, staying on the sidelines while the other girls uh, be in competition in the social media world on these reality platform shows. Okay. Yes. And it's all coming together. It's all making sense. All right. When they tell you to be quiet, that's exactly what they mean. Be quiet. Because you don't want the repercussions. You don't want the repercussions. But the source came by, dropped it off early this morning to me. And I had to sit back. I couldn't just break it to y'all out there like uh, all willy-nilly. I had to wait. I had to wait. But now I'm here to get my commentary on it. Because I told y'all, pay attention to what the queen is trying to tell you. Is she telling you to sit down, shut up, and don't get on social media and say anything that's going to make them look bad? You better listen. You better listen to the queen of the castle. You better stop listening at the queen. Because she gets down and dirty, if you know what I mean. Okay, but let's break the story, okay? The source, which is my source, okay? Y'all may know him as a vlogging uh, site, whatever. Radar Online says. They don't give us the person. They just give us the headline and told us to go with it. They said twirling in debt. Twirl, twirl, twirl in debt. Twirl, twirl, twirl in debt. Twirl, 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 twirl in debt. Now you wonder why, Mr. Mark Daly, King's husband, Daly Brooklyn. Brickly Cookie Daddy didn't want to be on TV, didn't want to be shown, didn't want to get no dirt thrown on his name. 
Okay? But we see why now. From what they're saying, he's twirling with Kenya. And all of them are in debt. Because when you sit there and join as one, it's not you no more. It's not he no more. It's not he, she, we. What we gonna do, baby? No, 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 no. Mark Daly gets uh, dirt thrown on his name. It attaches to Kenya, in a sense. I ain't going to say they legally had responsible because he had a restaurant before her. But it seems as if, unless she got her eyes dotted and her teeth crossed, she's going to be pulled in that cycle or on that 100 k in back taxes. If you know what I mean. If you know what I mean. Okay? Store was brought out today around 5.30 p.m. Uh... I don't know if it was uh, what time zone it was in, but it says 532. Okay, it says Brooklyn-based restaurateur Mark Daly hit with whopping federal lien. woo Now, you know you don't want to mess with the man of a man of a man. Okay, no, nah, we don't want to mess with the IRS. <laughs> no, because they will put you in mess oh, and keep you there too, honey. All right, twirling around in debt. The Real Housewives of Atlanta star Kenya Moore's husband was hit with a whopping 100000 federal tax lien. RadarOnline.com exclusively learned. This is an exclusive. Check it out. Exclusive, exclusive. According to the New York City Department of Finance, a $111,000, well, $111,205,000 Federal tax lien was imposed on Mark Daly on May 23rd, 2019. Okay, so yes, Kenya Moore had to ink a deal real quick to help her husband out. Yes, he did. Yes, she did. Okay, the Department of Finance confirmed that as of August 29th, the lien was still outstanding. Okay, still outstanding. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Boy, he turned you out, meaning the RS turned Mark Daly out, okay? I ain't got a winner or a pot to piss in, and I slung the baby with the bathwater, okay? What kind of mess is that? What kind of men is Kenya Moore picking around him? Of course, Kenya Moore's ex-boyfriend, Matt Joy, you know, she was like real scared of him, trying to play him up as this real crazy, crazy, crazy person. When, in fact, we must do research. I'm not going to do it, but I uh, suggest you all do it if y'all really want to find out. Was he all that bad or was he bad before or after he met Kenya? That is the question, okay? That is the question. Now, Matt Jordan is in rehab, okay, after an assault rest that he did on uh, a previous girlfriend. Because I don't think they together now if he's been going outside her head, if you catch him in trip, okay? So, he was in jail for a few minutes. A few hours, few days, few weeks, uh, but now he's in the rehab center for managed anger, managed behavior. Okay, but moving on from there, I just want to give y'all a spill on how twirl goes around and it's be tan up, folks. Okay, don't know, can't say. Uh, how long brother Mark Daly been in debt of this magnitude? I don't know, cause you know everything is so secretive. Can you bring out things when she gets ready to bring out things? I always think it's so perfect here and there. But if you re- live in the reality world, the real world such as us, these nine to five paycheck to paycheck living folks, we'll tell you hard out there. We don't be lying. We don't be lying. Those who get up and go to work every day, even when they don't want to go. Okay. Maybe some of us have jobs. Maybe some of us have careers. Maybe us have both of them simultaneously. But it just is what it is. We got to go out there and work for the man. Some other man. Everybody can't be entrepreneurs. You see what I'm saying? And the restaurant business is such a hard, hard business to be a part. If you ain't leasing your space, check it out, Candy Burris, because she's doing pretty well because so she's leasing space while I'm there, okay? She ain't sitting there buying a building or, or brick and mortar and, 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 you know, all these other things that go on with restaurant people and the the, uh, the magnitudes of fines they have to pay because this ain't right, this ain't right, they ain't passed, this is special, that is special. Oh, people, okay? Oh, people, Oh, the drama with coming on trying to own a bar or a restaurant. I heard those are the two worst in, entities to get into because they ain't nothing but a, a endless pit drop, a, a, a endless 
deepest hole that you just keep seeking money into and you can never pull it out. Okay, never pull it out. And maybe that's what was happening to Matt. I don't, not Matt, I'm sorry, uh, Mark Daly. I'm not sure. I'm not really sure. She like the EMs too. That's just like Steve Harvey, Mary and Marjorie, uh, Mary Ann or somebody like that, and, and Marsha. I like that. You know, I don't understand. Now, Kenya marrying or messing with, was messing with Matt, Jordan. Now she messing with and married, allegedly. Mark Daly, okay, maybe you need to leave them M's alone, Kim, Kenya, I don't know, but I'm not really, the council just exposed your husband, and how you going to get out of this, I don't know, because it's not going to look good, everybody going to be saying this, that, and the third, but I'm just quoting what my source is giving me, which is Radar Online, it's correct, they're a very credible, upstanding source in the system of our society, as well as the council, these are some deep broke type of people. You don't go out embarrassing them like this. If you work for them, you work for them. If you're part of their kingdom, kingdom, whatever, you need to toe the line, okay? But we're going to get off of that because we don't want to tear it too long. Uh, my source told me that I was talking too long and uh, that you can't do all that, okay? And they, they see, I'm, that's why I'm, I'm cutting it down because see, the council told me you got to talk less than 15 minutes or you hit that 20 mark, it's better be going off getting your credits, okay? And I said, I got to tear it. I can't tear it too long, okay? Because I listen when they tell me stuff, I listen, okay? But anyway, they go and say the financial hit comes out the radar reveal that Kenya took a $1 million pay cut to return to the Real Housewives of Atlanta after she was fired for keeping her marriage and relationship details secret. Now, see, Kenya didn't tell y'all that. All her little fame and fortune followers then she didn't tell y'all that. All the ones that go to back to for Kenya more, she didn't tell y'all that, did you? But it's coming out. And I know the council put it out. Okay? Yeah. When you make them look like a fool, they're going to make you look like a fool out of these streets. Okay? That's how they get down. But anyway, going back to the article, it says Kenya has been earning $1.5 million per season, but she accepted only $500,000. 500000 to return as a friend in the season 12 as an insider confirmed to radar. Woo! Don't that hurt y'all. Y'all be talking about Nene. Well, we ain't going to get on her. We ain't going to even bring her up because she's a separate animal as it is. Okay? She's acting like a beast in them streets too. So they silenced her. So right now she's partying with Tamar Braxton, which is not a real good source to be partying with because she's all out there being loud and she can't never be, called, be a part of the queendom. They said they, they denied her application about four or five years ago. That's what they said. And every time she keep putting one in each year, the status is still the same. Deny, deny, deny. Okay. Then she, uh, you know, Wendy Williams, um, you know, she going through a divorce as long as she, you know, toe the line and don't do certain things out there. The council is going to let her slide by hair thin, a hair thin. OK, and we know how thin a hair is. Right. So she's skating pretty close. So she got to stay really above radar. OK, but anyway, we go on. It says Kenya kept her marriage to Brooklyn restauranteur Mark Secret from Real Housewives of Atlanta producers and refused to have him on camera during season 10 so she was dumb okay she didn't quit she didn't call herself well she called herself taking a break or whatever she needed to uh secure her family and, and, and her she wanted to keep that secret but like I said see that's what I'm talking about y'all be taking over folk don't even really know the truth or half of the story they be gooping y'all y'all think they so high on a pedestal that they can't be touched even when they do silly stuff out here on the streets that y'all know y'all can't explain yourselves but you always going behind trying to be opinionated in a way where you tear down everybody else because we messing with your fave no if your fave is out there doing silly ridiculous stuff then yes, we must call a spade a spade. And I'm telling you, a hot mess because I never came out reporting this on my own. No, but the council told the source to come tell me and I need to put it out expeditiously. All right. And that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm trying to hurry too because they gave me my time limit as well. Okay. So we're going to go back to the article. It says she was dumped from Bravo's highest rated Housewives franchise. Not that she walked away on her own. She was dumped. Okay. She bragged that he was successful or he was a successful rest restaurant uh, 
entrepreneur. He didn't want to be dragged into the drama of her life. But Mark has run into the same problem that hit so many other Bravo celebrities, including Joe and Teresa Guidance, who went to prison for a tax fraud. And we know they both went to prison, okay? They had to serve separate times between them two. All right, Kenya Moore gave birth to their daughter, Brooklyn Dale, on November 4th of 2018, naming her after the New York area where she fell in love with Mark Daly, she said at the time, okay? See, now they're putting her in past tense. The, the, ooh, the court, oh, Lord, not the court, but the palace is coming out on her ass, okay? Ooh, they dropping tea that I never would have thought I could drop. But it ain't coming from me. It's coming from my source, Radar Online, and the castle, okay? But can you... Return with vengeance to Real Housewives of Atlanta, fighting with everyone on the show, including her nemesis, Nene Lees. But the two made up during a cash trip to Toronto and inside a dish to Radar. Kenya's past came back to haunt her recently with the news that her ex-boyfriend was arrested. Matt Jordan was arrested for aggravated assault, theft, and threatening and intimidating on July 27th. Okay, of this year, he checked into rehab following the violent arrest. That's what we're going to keep y'all. We're going to keep on. In the complaint obtained from Pennyo County Justice Court, Matthew allegedly punched with a closed fist one time to the facial ear of his girlfriend while at Dennis restaurant. Okay, she had uh, wait a minute. Injuries observed, which is the bridge of her nose, bruising, redness, and swelling. The filing red. Kenya and Matt had the tantamonious relationship when they were together. In a police report exclusively obtained by radar from Sandy Springs, police department accused Kenya, well, accused. Kenya accused Matt of destroying her home, Moore Manor, on August 15, 2016. Kenya accused him of damaging her glass garage door, garage door, and outdoor security camera. God, we don't really want to hear about all of that, okay? She's trying to bring or for a salacious story to just add on to the salacious story. They just are piling all her stuff of what she went through with Matt. That they, they don't want her to be played as no uh what do you call that victim? No, they want her to stand in her shit. And that's what the castle's saying. You do it, you produce it, you suffer the consequences. But we will not have no mud thrown on our face, okay? But anyway, um, that was pretty much of the story. We ain't gonna bring Matt Jordan into it, like I said, because it ain't really that necessary. We're dealing with this mess that uh is landed on our front front desk. Okay, a front porch, however you want to call it. And they ain't, they ain't taking it. It's okay. You do dirt for dirt. We finna throw some dirt out on you. That's people going to be talking about for the rest of this year. And it might follow you. You keep playing with me. That's what the council said. You keep playing with me. And I'm going to show you the power that I do have in this society, in this world we live in, in this uh, earthly planet that we dwell on. You don't say you're going to be a part of the queendom. Okay, the castle and then you come out here and self-appoint yourself as a twirling queen of pageants and many other territories and you can't even get it right by following order. So that's what they did. They dropped that bombshell and I'm finna be out of this this uh <laughs> time council. I'm finna be out. I was just supposed to drop the news to y'all and the time was 20 minutes was my cutoff date and I can't go, I can't carry no longer, <laughs> okay? So I just want to let y'all know the source hit the streets after they came to me and told me, prepare my story and get it out before time is too late. Don't carry now, now I ain't. So I'm letting y'all go, but y'all, y'all, um, Fans, followers of Kenya Moore, look, egg is on the face again. That's all I'm going to say. Egg is on the face. All right, y'all be good. Be uh, good to yourself. I'll come back with the next video, just depending. But I got to go now. Take care. Bye.